let's just go. Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty on Monday, where we do bomb things on a Monday. Jasmine here, I know it's been a minute. I know it's been quite a while. I'm not going to give you a bunch of excuses. I'm just gonna jump right into this video. That's just what we're gonna do. I am going to be doing a unboxing review, first impressions of two products. So first is this Olaplex Holiday Hair Fix. This was 58 bucks for the Olaplex 3, 4, 5, and 6 hair care products. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Olaplex. I've heard great things about them. My hair is in a bit of a state where I am needing to sort of switch some things around in terms of hair care. I need to set my hair care game up. That's, that's really what's happening. I've been using fairly decent shampoos and conditioners. I'm suffering, suffering, suffering. I'm dying over here from a bad raging case of Soberia dermatitis, AKA dandruff, but this is like dandruff to the max. So I will be in conjunction with this product using my ketoconazole pres prescribed shampoo to sort of knock out those flakes. If you guys have any tips on how to control this dermatitis, please, please, please leave them in the comments below. Drop me a comment, send me an email, something, because I don't know what to do. I don't want my hair to fall out. So I'm going to be reviewing this product. I'm gonna do all the steps. The box says, the complete hair repair system dramatically improves overall hair health, strength, and texture with Olaplex's patented bond maintenance system. So the step one is the number three, which is the hair perfecter. It's a pre-shampoo treatment and it's supposed to repair damaged hair, reduce, reduces breakage and split ends for all hair types. So heard a lot of great things about this. I know a lot of people that do color treated hair use this system. My hair is in need of some protein. So I decided that this may be a good try for me. And it was 58 bucks, like I said, I think retail, the number three and the number six retail for $28 a piece in this size. And this is the 3.3 ounces. The shampoo and conditioner are the smaller sizes and I think they run for like 15 or $16 a piece. Don't quote me, I'll have all the prices in the description box below. So, you know, you'll have, you'll have the real deal down there. But overall, this was a great bargain considering I'm just sort of test driving the product out. Second thing that I'm going to be taking a look at is this new styling tube. This is by Golden Hot and it's the Professional Professional for Textured Hair Ionic Volumizer Dryer and Styler. So this is very similar to the Revlon Volumizer Styler brush that I've heard wonderful things about. I've actually gotten a recommendation from a few friends that I need to try this styler. However, I am such a cheapo. I really wanted to find a similar alternative for a better price. This Golden Hot, which we know this is a brand from like the 90s. Come on now, you know you had your Golden Hot curl and iron. And they were the probably the first one to do the flat irons, the electric flat irons, and they had the Marceau irons and all that other good stuff. Golden Hot is an old school brand, but they offered this on Amazon for like 20 bucks. I think I paid 22 bucks for it. So I will be using this to style my hair, and I have no idea how to use it, but we will be doing this together. And off we go. All right, so I have no idea how to use this. This truly is a first review unboxing. I haven't opened it yet. I haven't looked at the directions or anything. The packaging is real cute. I feel like this will be a good gift for someone who does a lot of at home DIY care. So I'm just trying to get this out of the box. It's really in here. So starting with the number three, it says use one time per week. For damaged hair, use two to three times per week. Okay, so we apply this on damp, towel-dried hair. Apply a generous amount from the scalp to ends until hair is thoroughly saturated. Leave on for 10 minutes, longer if desired. Rinse from hair, shampoo, and condition as usual. So, you do not shampoo your hair before you do this. So what I think I'm gonna do is, I think I'm going to use my tried and true. If you watch my other hair videos, I always do a cold wash 
um, which is usually like a little detangling thing that I do. And I use the Tresemme Botany Nourish and Replenish with Coconut Milk and Aloe Vera to do that. So I'll just do a quick co-wash, rinse through, and then I will apply this. And I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I just did my little quick co-wash and rinse. My curls have been super limp. I don't think it's anything heat damage related. I just think I need more protein in my hair. I don't really use a ton of heat on my hair in the summertime and I'm really just coming out of those summer months. So I, I, I don't know what's going on. I just have no clue, but let's just hope that this works. So I'm just gonna part my hair down the middle and it says to start from scalp to ends, applying a generous amount. So starting with the number three, Good. So I'm actually going to start from the end and work my way up. I should have done a better job of sectioning. And I am in desperate need of a trim. So that's my bed. I just, I've just been super lazy. I mean, I just have not been taking care of my hair, guys. This is, be better than me. Don't be like me. So it's kind of like a nice watery consistency. And I think the reason why they want your hair wet is to open the cuticle so that the product can penetrate. So I did use warm water for that little quick co-rinse. It's super light, doesn't feel greasy. So now I'm just focusing on trouble areas. So I get a lot of breakage and um, my hair is a little bit coarser at the crown of my head. So it doesn't grow as fast and it's, it's really weak and it breaks a lot. So I'm just, Focusing on that, those strands up there, giving them a little TLC. Focusing on my edges, this front area is fairly porous for no damn reason because I don't, the rest of my hair is not porous. So making sure we get a little on there. Okay, so it says to allow this to sit on for 10 minutes and then shampoo, rinse it out, and then shampoo with the number four. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, really quick. So I had to come back because I needed to talk to y'all about this. My, my like shampoo. So this shampoo is amazing. First of all, a little bit goes a long way. I've already shampooed it once. I used my prescription shampoo on my scalp and then I took a little of this and put it on my hair shaft. I don't normally go that far down on my hair with shampoo, but I figure for the sake of the whole black system, I would give it a shot. And I can tell you after the first rinse, the consistency of my hair feels different. It's not as mushy. I don't know how to explain that to you. It's not as mushy. It feels a little bit it feels like I've, I've done a protein treatment. So not dry, but strong. And it has a little bit more texture to it. So first of all, look how thick this shampoo is. Okay, my hands are fairly damp. I use a little bit, but this shampoo is extremely thick. And I only used about a rice and pea size. So I didn't use a whole lot. I probably need to add some more water to this, but I just wanted you guys to see like how it actually lathers up. Okay, so I added more water. And you can see like how nice the shampoo is. So I'm gonna head back over to the sink, add a bit more water to this to bring it all the way down. And then I'm going to come back and apply the conditioner. Okay, so I am back. I've rinsed out all of my shampoo. So, I don't want to jump the gun, but I will say that my hair feels really different already. I don't know if it was the perfecter or the number three or if it was the shampoo or a combination of the two, but we are only halfway through the steps and I'm, I'm kind of sold. I will tell you that 
my hair feels strong but not dry. So I find a lot of times when I do like mega protein treatments, my hair feels kind of brittle and dry after the shampoo. This does not feel that way. It just feels stronger. So I wanted to come back and apply the conditioner for you. So it says apply Olaplex number five bond maintenance conditioner and leave on for three minutes and then rinse. This is formulated with patented Olaplex bond building chemistry, restores, repairs, and hydrates without adding excess weight, eliminates damage and frizz for strong, healthy looking, shiny hair using the Olaplex 345 system. So, conditioner's nice and creamy. It smells good. It smells, it smells high end. It doesn't really have like a super strong, like floral or perfumey smell. I am probably interested in possibly getting the full size shampoo and conditioner. I'm currently interviewing for maintenance shampoo and conditioners. I, you know, you guys know I love the Joyco line, so maybe I'll give their shampoo a whirl. It does have sulfates in it, so I just don't know if I want something that harsh. But we'll see. So I'm just, I like to apply my conditioner to damp hair or damp to wet and not so much like sopping wet hair because I really want to cover every strand and not dilute my conditioner so much. So I'm going to continue to add this. Going in on those trouble areas, the ends. It does have a fair amount of slip to it. My hair is not the most difficult hair to detangle. So I'm probably not the person to talk about detangling conditioners with. Although I do know some that have more slip than others. This is not it's like extremely difficult for me to sort of T-bone some of these, these sections. So I'm gonna leave this on for three minutes and then I'm gonna go rinse. I have rinsed this conditioner out of my hair. And before I apply the step number six, which is the bond smoother, ugh, the bond smoother, I'm going to use my Kristen S Weightless Shine Leave-In Conditioning Spray. Just an FYI, I am really in need of a new blow-dry spray, a new leave-in. I don't hate the Kristen S, but I feel like with the winter months approaching, I'm going to need something that's a little bit heavier to combat dryness. So you're supposed to apply that to your hair wet. So I'm actually going to take my t-shirt and blot some of that down. And I'm going to let this dry down just a little bit before I apply the smoothing cream. I towel dry that out a bit. Now I'm going to add some of this perfecting cream. So while I'm adding this, curl pattern noticeably better. Noticeably. Off the bat. I just want to go through the expectations of this styler. So I'm expecting it to dry my hair fairly straight, not burn it out. <laughs> I would like for it to be fairly easy to maneuver and use. And it says that it's for textured hair, which is what all of these products are claiming today. So I want to see how textured you are really good. So this cream is really smooth, little goes a long way. It feels really good, it smells good. It's got like a citrus balmy smell. I am gonna put some on those trouble areas even though it says mid-link to shift. Just because they need some extra TLC. And we're gonna jump right into this blower. Before we pull the blower out, I am just going to section the back of my hair. I'm also going to make sure that I detangle my hair. I think that is an important step. So we're detangled. All right, first impressions. I'm going into the box. Okay. The box is extremely light. I'm just I'm just letting y'all know. So I don't know what that means for the styler, but okay. Alright, so it has an oval shape. 
seems to have like a cool tip here. It's like the speeds or settings are down at the end. I don't know how I like about that because what if I want to take like a hot whatever and then hit it with the cool switch? I don't know how. I mean, I guess I could hold one hand and then hit it. I don't know, we'll see. Let's jump right into the styler. Okay, so here's the styler out of the box. This is what it sounds like on high. Low. And cool. So here we go. I'm going to do it on high because I have no time. So low. Here we go. So it doesn't feel like a lot of heat is coming out. But I told that that is, don't be fooled by that. So I'm not taking it all the way down. I'm trying to get easy to do it. It is hot. Okay, it's hot. It is hot. texture in my hair this is a little damp in here so I just didn't get as close that tool gets really hot there's still lots of texture to my hair this is not gonna be a one-stop shop for me but does it get your blow dry fairly straight I mean I would not be able to achieve this with a paddle brush and a regular blow dryer so um, this is probably gonna be perfect for a silk press I will say that this tool gets extremely hot. I would not recommend this to an inexperienced, like hot tool user. So teenagers, people that could easily fry their hair. I mean, this bitch gets hot as hell. It's hot. The tips on the bristles are very comfortable against your scalp, so it's kind of misleading. What's hot is the actual ceramic base of it. The cooling tip is fairly cool. I mean, it's comfortable enough for you to manipulate on the end of the brush, but it is a hot tool. It is pretty light and easy to use. The oval shape allows you to really like get tension on those roots, which I like. So, so far, so good. So far, so good. Let's get through the rest of the hair. Okay. 
Okay, so I just finished this half. I'll probably go back in and try to get a little closer to the roots. It's a little damp in there, but I just wanted to check in and show you my results. So honestly, I'm, I'm sweating. And a part of <laughs> what's preventing my hair from getting drier or straighter is the fact that I'm sweating in the process. So yeah, just bear with me. This damn thing is hot and I don't know how to cool down from it. The cool is, is not that cool. Um, I am noticing a few small bristles of the brush, a little bit of fallout, not too much. As far as my hair goes, I need a trim. So it's probably breaking about a half inch on the ends. I mean, that's just what it is. But all will be handled fairly soon. But these are the results thus far. Very similar to the actual picture, the marketing picture that's on the website. I mean, they didn't give me some black girl with extremely straight hair. I mean, it looked very similar to mine. So the expectations are, they're there, they're there. So to be fair, I have no idea how I'm going to style my hair. This really wasn't a video for a complete like head to toe styling look. It was really just to review the Olaplex line and also this crazy blow dryer brush. All in all, I think it's probably best to, I just can't imagine the Revlon one working any better or differently. So if you are looking to purchase something in the way of a product or a styler like this, I would say go with the Golden Hot. It's $22 from Amazon. It's, to me, I don't think that the Revlon is actually gonna work any differently or any better or any worse. I would save my 40 bucks and go with the less expensive brand. Yeah, if you're looking to just do like a simple hairstyle like this and you just need stretched hair, this is probably a good idea. Some girls like to wear their hair more textured and, and stretched. This is not a look for me. It's not a terrible look, but it's just not a look for me. So I probably wouldn't wear my hair like this. But again, if I was prepping it for a flat iron or silk press or any type of curl, I could also do like a cool wand curl. And this is like nice and this is like a good stretch for a wand curl. But I just don't feel like putting that much heat in my hair. So we're probably gonna be going with the low braid part in the middle, boom, boom, dark lip all week. That's what we're doing. Yeah, but in terms of the Olaplex, I actually love this bond smoother, this leave-in. You can use this on dry hair. So, you know, I'm an Alterna Caviar 7-in-1 um, like hair cream styler girl. I love that stuff. So it's, it's very, it's like a cream, but it's moisturizing. You can use it on straight hair. It's good for my hair in the winter months to keep moisture on it. Butters and oils don't moisturize my hair. They just sort of coat and I, I mean I have those things in my hair routine but it's just not that I would use to moisturize my hair I need something with a little bit more cream something water-based but also I don't want it to revert my flat iron or my silk press so something like that will work best but I like this I don't know if I could well the alternative is pretty expensive too it's like 44 bucks so this is 28 for 3.3 ounces. You get more, I think, in that Alterna product. I'm not really sure. But I'll have a list of all the products in my description box. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope I was able to shed some light on these two products if you were thinking about taking a look at them. And again, Olaplex got the thumbs up and Styler is kind of <laughs> for me. Both, I think, are great for textured hair. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I just want to do a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I know I haven't really been that active lately, but I am still here. And I appreciate you guys being interested in what I have to offer. And I hope you'll come back. 
please thumbs up this video, share it, tell a friend to tell a friend, and have a bomb week. Bye.